shimmering light Rest my head on my pillowcase again Talk me through one more night Pull my sheets over my head and plug me in Go live, I'm telling myself it's just five more minutes I'm feeling my eyes Again, heavy again, but we won't sleep. No, we won't sleep. Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'll stay up for you. Keep me wrapped up in my phone. Internal deja vu. Cause with the audio visual, it's something additional. I hear and see your point of view. Keep me up till 4 shimmering light rest my head on my pillowcase again talk me through one more night pull my sheets over my head and plug me in go live i'm telling myself it's just five more minutes i'm feeling my eyes Again, heavy again, but we won't sleep. No, we won't sleep. Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'll stay up for you. Keep me wrapped up in my phone. Internal deja vu. Cause with the audio visual, it's something additional. I hear and see your point of view. Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'm feeling my eyes Get heavy again, but we won't sleep No, 
the intro ends we stop it and the stream can begin there we go keep a watch on those sounds all right let's head over there we go All right, I think everything's working. Hello, Gil. I saw you come in earlier. How you doing? How are we all doing today? Another week. Next episode for Stray should be out in a few hours. That's very cool. pretty cool. I feel like a lot has happened. It really feels like 19 days have passed. It's awesome. Sometimes you don't always get those ones. Sometimes it feels like only half the days actually happened. But so far, it has been very memorable each day. For better or for bad. Or for, for better or for worse. It has definitely felt like each day has happened, which is good. decided to go and collect a whole bunch of uh where is it soul soil and it's packed ice i think it's called compressed ice because i'm on uk english because i'm weird anyways yeah our goal for today is to kind of go around the tunnels that we have for our nether hub and make them all five by five you know this is our final time to get everything laid out see if there's any more portals we want to add just get it all laid out for the majority of what we're going to do and yeah that's our goal so hope you're ready for more digging in the nether we should probably go get some more fire resistance potions that would be useful but yeah that's what we're doing how's everybody doing today what are the vibes what are the vibes what vibes are we thinking about today I mean, first of all, I think we should unpack this stuff, because we most likely won't be using it today. Holy cow, I forgot how much I collected.
Yeah, that's a little bit. Oh. You know, maybe we should, like, heal up our pickaxes first. Nah, we'll be fine. We can just switch them out. Oh. I should also deal with that golden sword in my inventory. Uh... Here we go. Okay. Now, ice. Ice has its own chest. Sweet. Neko, hello. How are you doing today? Oh, sweet. We got a whole bunch. We, I did not, I totally forgot how much we got last stream. Holy cow, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. But that does mean that we will be... Compressed dice, why is it? I guess that is a UK English thing. I feel like I realized that earlier, but... Taking it easy. That's what I like to hear. You should be taking it easy, and you should be you should be uh, good on yourself. Oh, okay, I guess my bottles are just split in different places because I'm interesting. Let's see, two of these, two of these, and redstone box. Two of those. All right. Yeah, it helps having water as like it helps having a central pool of water when you're bre brewing potions. I will say that is very useful to have. There is already fire resistance in here. I mean, I can brew more. I don't think I will. But I guess if we uh, if we ever need more, we can just. Leave this here to be used. I did I just leave them here last time? I guess I did. Well, now I have them. Do I have any more food stacks? No, I mean, I have some steak. In terms of that, no. Okay. So when we get back today, I will probably. Yeah, 24 minutes, that should be good. When we get back from mining today, whenever that is, or whenever we next come back home, I will probably get some more potato smelting. Is it smelty potatoes, or is it baking potatoes? I guess smelting is its own thing. Smelting is very different from baking. But anyways... To the nether? Oh, wait. To the nether we go! One day. It takes it a moment. Maybe, maybe we'll end up there in a, at some point. There we go. It, it took it a moment. Is it going to be long? World lag. It happens. It's unfortunately just kind of par for the course at this point. It's not a great par for the course, but my computer, it doesn't do the best all the time, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be the best, it just needs to do its best, or it doesn't need to do more than its best, it just needs to do its best, and that's okay. So yes, over the, over the previous two streams before we went and did our collection, we actually dug out this tunnel, which leads to our nether portal to the end. Or this is to our end portal. End portal? Nether portal? Yeah. The end nether portal. There you go. 
So speaking of, we should probably move that down, but I don't have a flint and steel, so I will just leave it there for now. This is this tunnel is five by five. Pretty obviously we just we just dug it out, so I know the size that I'm going for. However, the tunnels over here Nether are not five by five. In fact, all of these tunnels are four by five, right? Yes. So we need to actually come and take a chunk out of this uh, this ceiling. And this is our goal today. We're going to make sure everything is a five by five. And then, yeah, and then we will be done digging out the the main space of the tunnel. Then we can get started on actually placing the floor down and getting the, the walls done. clear out some of the lava pools around here we gotta make the we make the nether portal we make the nether a little safer every day by just filling in a whole bunch of holes all right this tunnel is five by five as well but it is it then only goes down to um or it's only it's five by five layout, but then it goes down to four by five and then three by three. Yeah, I'm starting to see why it's so hard to fly through there sometimes, or like every time. This should this will probably be the most efficient being five blocks up. So hey, it's the end of the week. I forget that Saturday and Sunday is usually weekends for everybody else. Any plans? What are what are we thinking of doing? Got any cool things going on over the weekend? Any exciting things have happened recently? I know me personally, um, over on Kane's, over on uh, Graveyard Growls, <laughs> if you've heard of them. You know, I don't know if you've heard of them, but if you have, they, they have done quite a few commissions for me over the last few months. And yesterday, during their stream, they actually did two of mine, a sketch page and a chibi. I can actually pull them up and show you guys uh, the sketch versions of them. I believe they're finishing them, like, I kid you not, right now. I, uh, they, <laughs> whenever they stream on the same days that I do, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Uh, but whenever they stream when I do, they usually go live at like 3.30 and I go live at 4.00. So there's usually like 30 minutes or so that I can just, or maybe 10, 15 minutes that I can sit around and say hi before I go get ready for a stream. So I know, so I was in there today and of course I left for a stream, but right before I left, they said that they'd be finishing uh, the commissions that they got me today or yesterday. So let me finish clearing out this tunnel and I will pull those up. This is a huge start. It already feels so much better in here. Alright, we should be safe if I don't knock over my stuff. Let me go quickly 
Let me real quickly pull these up. Because I actually have them saved. Turns out they were only saved on my phone, so I'm going to go uh, resave them on my computer. How are the magma cubes doing? Are they? Hmm. They're not getting close, are they? I can hear you. I'm gonna move suspiciously over here for no reason. I'm just gonna momentarily find myself on the roof. No particular reason why. Just, you know. You know, maybe I don't want to explode from a magma cube. That would be not fun. I keep hearing them. But I'm hoping that my neck isn't bright. Why is my neck breaking? Alright, anyways. Oh my gosh, I almost just exited out of streamlabs. Ooh, okay. That could have been bad. Alright, we seem to be fine. Let's hide the GY just for a moment. And let me show some artwork that is getting drawn for me. These are some things I commissioned from Graveyard Growls. Y'all might also know them as Kane. It is taking up most of the screen. It is not moving particularly fast. Or at all. I'm not sure why it's not moving. There we go. It is not moving. Okay. Why? What is going on? Come on, computer. You can move images during stream. I, I believe in you. Holy cow. Alright. So this, this is the sketch page that I got a few months ago, and or that I, um, I bought a few months ago, and they were working on it yesterday. Oh, I could, they like, they got my little Hollow Knight plushies, there were gonna be little flags around me. I could gush all day about art, like genuinely. I hope you know that. If any of you have art that you want to share here, please do. I could go crazy about it. And then this, this is the this is a chibi I ordered a few weeks ago. Maybe last week. And they also worked on it yesterday. And they ended up going with a a more uh what is it? Quadrupede? Like just regular cat look which I just think looks awesome. So yeah, that's what's being worked on right now as I'm streaming. But yesterday they did these, and I thought it was incredible. So yeah, shameless plugging them, as I always do. If there's any art that you have that you want done, I'd, I'd recommend you go with them. I believe they just do anthro characters, but you know. If you have any anthro characters you want them, just go to them. It's so cool. There's so many cool artists out there, not just them. 
I love seeing just how many artists there are that do this. It's incredible. <laughs> the, the, the skill and the time that it takes them to do this is honestly incredible and it does it never fails to just make me amazed that people do this. It's the coolest thing ever to me. I do not know why my computer's lagging so much. You would think that just adding images would be okay, but it is not. Anyways, images are now gone. I'm just, I'm going to save myself a lot of fans. You know, I've never really thought about that. I mean, it's not like I haven't. I actually, um, back when I played Celeste, uh, like, Coley and Jade drew me some fan art, and then during Hollow Knight, um, uh, Kiri drew me some, and even, like, Stray, I've gotten some. It is... And, like, even for my birthday, technically, I've had some beautiful drawings that my friends have given me of Willow because they know how much I love her. It is... It's something I've never really thought about. Alright, no, I take that back. I have thought about it, but it's never gone past my scope of, like... I always think pretty small because I don't really get the chance to think, like, that big. But it would be cool. I think it would be really awesome to see people drawing Willow and just like enjoying it. Because Willow is how I get to express myself. Willow, in a very real sense, is me and how I choose to express myself to the world. So having people take that and like make something out of that, make something out of her, is just... That would be amazing. I think fan art just kind of sums that up really well. Like, if you enjoy what somebody does, or just that person, and like, how they entertain you that much in general, that you are willing to spend the time to actually draw fan art of them, and their Sony. Like, that's really, really special. I value that a lot. <laughs> so I think, I think I would be really happy to see that happen, if it did ever happen. side tangent decide I agree <laughs> I think it would be I would love more fan art honestly now is this this is four by four as well so we're going to need to not only clear out the side right here but also make it one taller which easy enough I suppose I can also just do this. <laughs> yeah, because... I mean, not just here, right? This, like, this kind of just happens, like, everywhere. There are people with any amount of following, especially those who delve into, like, creative content. Uh, it blows me away. Like, the level of skill that people have developed over the years, and then to just say, like, wow, I'm gonna make something for this person just because I can. And to be fair, <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> 
In fact, I'm working on a piece right now that is literally that. I don't actually remember if I've shown it here. Oh, thank you for the hydrate, by the way. I should hydrate. But I am working on a on actually lining, drawing, and shading a pretty big piece that I made for the end of 2023. You might have seen it, Neko, but for anyone that hasn't, it's I basically made a get this, a nine person piece. Nine people. Myself and everybody that helped make something for my channel on Twitch here. Well, yeah, welcome. <laughs> everybody that helped make just anything, like either some of the emotes or some of the art or some of the overlays. A bunch of people helped with that. A bunch of people that I knew and got to know over 2023. And so I wanted to make a big drawing kind of commemorating that and kind of saying, you know, thank you that I, you know, I got to meet you and I'm very thankful for that and thank you for helping out. And I'm now finished with two of the line art for the people and also the, the kind of general, oh, okay, overlay. Oh, I missed it. Please don't hit the ground. Okay. And so far, I have finished with myself and Kane. There is, in fact, nine more people involved. I built it. Let's see. It is. Okay. It's myself, uh, Graveyard Rep Browse, or Kane, Ash Pile, Ash, Jade Spring, Toy Box Plush, In Raven's Wake, um, Coley is here, and then. S'mores are good. And in that order, it's myself, Kane, Ash, Jade, Coley, or Toy Box, Raven, Coley, Carry. There's a lot of people. <laughs> there is a pretty substantial amount of people that I know that helped make what I do like a reality and made this whole channel debut that I did uh, as impressive as it was. I could not have done it alone. And so I wanted to make, I wanted to really challenge myself and make a big group drawing, something I've never really done before. I think I've only done like two or three people at most. So going with nine was rough. It took me most of December to finish it. And that was just like the sketch page. That was the general outline of the drawing. Right now, I've been working on the drawing itself, the, the final version of it. And it is not easy, but I'm hoping to have it done by January, maybe early February. Because it is the last thing I need to finish up for 2023. And it's kind of a gift to all of them. You know, when you when you have developed your skills as an artist, at least to a point that you say like, oh, I, I could recognize that as my own, as my own style, or, you know, being able to share what you do. And, if you enjoy what you're drawing and you draw, no matter how often, no matter how frequent, or no matter what kind or what medium, I think that makes you an artist. So being myself and being somebody who wants to get better at art and has gotten better at art over the last six or so years, maybe seven, oh my gosh, almost eight, want well, to think about that. I enjoy drawing things for other people. And also Willow. If you don't know me, I draw so much of Willow. It is like 95% of what I draw. I love this little cat girl so much. Alright. Let's get these let's get this show on the road and get everything into boxes. We are going to have so much basalt. I 
No, wait, didn't I say I was I, I wanted to make a statue out of it at some point? I think that still would be a funny idea. Just a statue completely out of the different types of basalts. This is about to run out. Right. And let me actually do that hydrate thing you gave me, Neko. I haven't done it yet. Summary of the story. I like drawing. Drawing is good. Fan art is awesome. If you do end up drawing any for me, please show me. I will love it. I adore fan art so much. Which is really exciting. Today is cleanup day. We are the cleanup crew, making sure everything fits as well as it can be. We don't gotta worry about the portals themselves. We'll probably break them and replace them and make them look fancy uh, when we start doing their individual tunnels. So, no need to worry about it not lining up with the 3x3. Three three. Oh, really? Again? I should put handrails. I'm gonna put handrails. I can now stop falling off. We have handrails, everybody. Call this tunnel OSHA compliant. Sort of. Is this hard? Honestly? Not really. For most of this, the hardest thing is the fact that I'm in a basalt delta. Uh... And I can't instamine a lot of it, so I usually have to use my beacon. And then the little random lava pools that I get everywhere, those are annoying. But that's about it. A lot of it is just digging tunnels to your liking, so if you want, if you want a smaller nether hub, or if your portals are closer together, it's going to be a lot less work than this. I just like doing more work like this because I am silly. Oh, silly goofy goober. And I've done this before. I've done a few nether hubs before and it really is just up to what you want. You know, if you want big, if you want big tunnels that you can fly through, maybe you make them five by five or seven by seven. Maybe you decorate them with lights and little, like, stops every once in a while. Maybe it's a longer tunnel. You, you know, maybe you choose blocks that you think are pretty, so you go out and do the grind to get a lot of those blocks. Not because they're easy to get, but because they look nice. Or maybe, uh, maybe your tunnel, you want it to be, um, like, cherry wood and warped wood, so you go out and collect all of it. It, it's not, like, the easiest thing in the world, but if you just want, like, if you want your nether hub to be, like, a 3x3 three three tunnel that you decorate the walls with every, every so often, or, like, you just don't decorate, you just have lights along it so things don't spawn, that is totally fine. You want to add lights, you want to add decoration, maybe you add, like, a blue, uh, an ice path 
so that you can go faster in boats. Maybe you add some soul sand so you can run faster with your soul speed. Maybe then you expand it so you can fly through it, and then you make it taller so it looks like archways, or maybe you make it look like a home or like long tunnels. It's, it's really up to just your imagination. It can be anything as simple as a one by two walkway to get you from point A to point B, and it can be anything as grand as massive tunnels with really cool architecture. It's all up to what you want to see in your build and what you want to do. And that's kind of the beauty of it. Me having experience with this and knowing what I can do, I am very willing to sit down for like 20, 30 streams and just go, okay, this is what we're doing. I'm willing to big out, dig out giant tunnels for no other reason than I've done it before and I, I, it always looks better for me when I do it like this. But it is really all up to what your imagination says is what you want to do. So I would say probably mm, intermediate. You know, other than taking a while to mine out blocks if you don't have beacons. It's not the most difficult thing in the world. It's just a lot of resource collection. And resource storing, because man, you get a lot of basalt and netherrack this way. Me, mostly netherrack, because, or mostly basalt, because I'm going straight through a basalt delta. The result is always fantastic, it's true. There is some incredible builds out there. There are, people are just, people are inspiring. And in fact, that's kind of why I do so much of what I do, like, as I figure it out, and as I, as I make it up. But also sometimes we'll plan things out. It's because I like seeing what I can do. You know, I've been playing this game for almost eight years now. In, oh, in fact, in like a month it'll be eight years from my account, which is a little ridiculous. And there's just... And you know, what better way to test my own limits than to say, like, well, I've built another hub before, but it's always been on multiplayer worlds. I've never had a long-term, consistent survival world. Remember that thing I was talking about yesterday when we had our, or on Wednesday when I had, uh, when I did my, like, giant chill talk, talk of thing, where we, like, talked about how I've grown and changed over the last... Uh, seven years and how my content has changed. That very much sticks here. You know, when I was talking about how I started the, you know, weekly Wednesday playthroughs so that I could play games that I, I've always wanted to or thought looked cool but never would get around to how by doing it on those days or streaming things on Twitch, I'm giving myself extra motivation and basically giving myself the reason of, I'm showing it to people and I'm showing it to myself, so I want to see it done. Well, that also goes from here. I have basically never had a long-term survival world. I had one at one point in 2020, uh, but then my computer got messed up and the editing, or the editing, for the episodes stopped um, because of schooling and then my computer broke down so you know that also too but then when i started this world it was a chance to see like hey 
now I usually play in, uh, in multiplayer survival with my friends. You know, what, what can I do by myself when the only person in the world is me? And that's what Connection Point is. It's an experiment. It's a way to test myself. You know, most people are not going to look at their nether and think, oh, I need really cool tunnels everywhere, or oh, I need these things here and there. You know, nobody really needs farms or nether hubs or just any of the very variety of things that we do. But not only have I had experience playing this game uh, very extensively, especially over the last uh, four or five years, but I also am pretty capable and have done quite a lot. So why not see what I can do by myself and then add in the little extra motivation of streaming it every day? most of what that's kind of why i have the rule of it, more of a personal rule for myself of only streaming only being in the world when i'm streaming unless i need to like afk for some emeralds or trying to get a villager or something for the most part i do it all here that's because yeah because <laughs> i want it to be shown i want it to be condensed in a way you know, if I'm just playing by myself on my own time, it's very easy to do projects. I can get lost in building for a day or two, and then boom, things are done. Or maybe it takes me a week or a month to finish a project. And then, you know, maybe it takes me multiple months. That's, that's something that has happened to me before. You look at a project that doesn't maybe go necessarily the want you way that the way you want it to, and so you just you're just like eh, I'll shelve it for a little bit and I'll work on this thing. Well, now because I'm streaming and I've been streaming Connection Point, and I have this per like little personal rule to only be in here. Uh, for the most part when I'm streaming. A majority of it should only be when I'm streaming. Then I have the necessity to, every time I'm in this world, I want to do something. Even if it's not like a lot. It can be, you know, putting a bunch of assault down for a tunnel or, you know, redesigning the glowing farm or going mining for diamonds. There should always be a little bit of progress every day. Not only so that it's, like, a decently interesting stream, but so that there can be... I can see my own progress and see how much I can do. It's only two hours a day. You know, on a week where there's no other streams, it's six hours a week. Which isn't nothing, but that's definitely a lot less than a lot of other people do. A little bit wrong with it. But yes, basically, this world is for streaming only because I want to challenge myself to see what I can do by myself. No multiplayer, no other people, just myself and my ideas and shit to see what I can do. Because, you know, if I can, in iron armor and a sword with sharpness 4, defeat the Ender Dragon, something I've never defeated by myself, or go and get netherites and replenish my supplies after blowing myself up how many times? You know, if I can get a trident, if I can enchant a bunch of tools, if I can get armor and go get an elytra, not only one, but like multiple elytras, if I can do all that by myself, like who knows what I can do when I'm given the freedom of, you know, multiplayer and stuff. So 
so I hope that made sense. Do you feel your building style has been changed or improved? I feel like it's improved, honestly. It's, it's harder to see um, sometimes for a lot of the builds that I do on a whim. Or I, or I make up and design as I'm building them. But I have some pretty cool um, houses and bases that I've made. Or like, how, like buildings, houses, uh, designs that I've made in creative. Like just like saying like, hey, I want to... Like the, the server that I have with my friends. I wanted to build, I actually wanted to build a house this season. So I built this really, this really cute little uh, spruce house with like windows and it had a curved roof and a ladder. And then I built a little quest building for us to like give quests to each other and have fun with that. And I'm pretty proud of that build, honestly. And then a lot of what I do, a lot of the redstone that I've designed for that server as well, I'm pretty proud of because, I mean, unless it's like farms or something that I'm doing for this world, which I actually do want to change, I have done my own redstone in this world before and I want to do more of it. I want to have streams where I figure out redstone instead of just relying on other people for like, all my farm designs I want to actually try and design my own even if it's not the most efficient I I enjoy doing that <laughs> I, I dabble in a little bit of building a little bit of detailing a little bit of redstone I I am kind of a jack of all trades So changed, I would say yes. I mean, if I went back to when I started playing Minecraft, it would be bad. It would be terrible. I I mean, honestly, I feel like my building style also changes depending on the update. Like, as more blocks are added, I feel like... Like, let's say you started in 1.14, and 1.14 was all the blocks you had to work with. They're pretty decent selection of blocks, honestly. But then, you know, 1.15 comes around and it adds honey blocks and honeycomb and target blocks. Cool. Well, now you can add those into your build. And then, you know, 1.16 with another update. Then suddenly you're adding in... Uh, what was it? You're adding in blackstone and all the, the crimson and warped woods. Then, you know, 1.17, you're adding in Deep Slate, and Amethyst, and Calcite, and uh, Basalt, and like, Smooth Basalt. Then, 1.19, you're adding in Mangrove, and uh, Frog Lights, and Mangrove Leaves, and Mangrove Roots. I'm definitely missing blocks somewhere, and all the Sculpt Blocks. So I definitely think... The more time you spend in Minecraft, the better you get at building. And also, the more blocks that you're exposed to, the better you get at building as well. So like, if you're somebody that plays modded a lot, the more mods you try and the more things you figure out, I feel like that also works there. You know, when I was playing on Bee Pumpkin, uh, SMP, the more mods that I was working with and the more blocks that I gave myself the chance to work with, my builds got better and better. And the same thing goes here. As you spend more time in Minecraft and you give yourself the opportunity to build with redstone or build with, you know, different sets of blocks or even challenge yourself to build something without Deep Slate or without uh, Blackstone, your builds just get better and better, and I think that's really cool. If I haven't have enough patience on my nether zones, be nether brick ones with lava windows. I have 
remind me after stream to show you Neko, uh, because I have done Lava Windows. I did it in an old world that I used to have with my friends, the Wonderland SMP, Season 3. I actually did that for our Nether Hub. I had giant windows with lava behind them. They looked super cool. If you do ever do it, or like maybe do it for like a certain section of one of your tunnels, it looks so cool. I would recommend it. I haven't done it since, but it was it was awesome. Deep Slate is actually one of the best rock type family in the game. You are so right. Deep Slate was just a huge win, just all across the board. I mean, Deep Slate, when I started this world in 117, Deep Slate tiles were just about my favorite thing ever. And to be fair, they are still. I still adore Deep Slate tiles. And honestly, the rest of the Deep Slate family is so cool. I know in Wonderland SMP Season 5, I actually used a... I used her, myself and Pingu, we actually based together. And we actually based in a cave. And we built... We, uh, we made these really cool floors that incorporated Cobble Deep Slate and regular Deep Slate together. And it was really pretty. There we go. So now this tunnel is fixed. It is now straight down, and it is actually 5x5. Five five. And just so I don't confuse myself, this is actually 5x5. Five five, so, sweet. Okay. 5x5. Five five. Awesome. So that means this portal to the Mesa is finished and has been fully dug out. The tunnel to the end portal and to the... is that the same? Is that the desert portal? I feel like that's the desert portal. Those have both been dug out. I guess our next mission... boom! Let's get this tunnel actually figured out. Frost Puppy, hello! I love your name! How are you doing today? I love those emotes too, holy cow. Those are adorable emotes. Right, so you have to stream? Thank you so much. Yeah, feel- I mean, you can even write to me now, and I will just- I will see it after. Those are so cute! Yeah, welcome in, how are you doing? We are doing great. I'm doing awesome, actually. We're having talks about, like, um, nether hubs and stuff. I'm actually digging out my nether hub tunnels right now. I'm, or, they're mostly dug out. I'm making them all 5x5 five five so that I can, uh, start building the floors and stuff in the, in the world. And this portal is the most, and this tunnel is the most egregious one because it is supposed to be 5x5, five five, but then for a large chunk of it, it's four, it's four by five, and then the floor suddenly cuts off and it goes down to like three by three. Like, let's just say this thing needs some work. <laughs> it needs um, some serious work and it is, uh, don't, I never did another one. Honestly, fair. This is, this is one of those projects that like, valid. It's one of those projects that you do in Minecraft if you just want to. It is it is very plainly just like a a decorative thing. There's no I mean I say there's no point. There are I there are quite a few reasons I enjoy making them. I think making your Nether Hub look pretty, but also giving you a little bit of function in there by like I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to say hi to you. I will ignore you. I will build around you. You can't stop me. While also giving you a little bit of function because then suddenly, you know, mobs can't spawn in it and uh yeah. If you light it up properly, then it's like cool. That's actually fair. Uh, iron farms... I mean, there are some pretty easy iron farm designs. But... 
I think it actually would be cool to try and figure out the mechanics of how iron farms work. I mean, I know, I know how they work, but to see if, like, I could make my own and see how I could make it work. Because I have used quite a few over my time playing the game, but I think it would be fun to try. Freestyle my... That's so cool! I have never freestyled an iron farm, and I want to. A lot of the more compli- or I say, yeah, a lot of the more complicated farms that I've done, I usually just look up and then try to give my own twist to it. Also, thank you so much for the follow. That means a lot. Welcome in. Like, I believe, yeah, uh, in, a, in a previous server that I was in with my friends, I built a guardian farm. And the guardian farm wasn't my own. But what I did was, it was actually, let's see if I can map this out real quick so it makes more sense. So I cleared out the area, and let's say this, uh, let's say this 5x5 five five is the square of the guardian farm. So the way the guardian farm worked in the in the farm design, it was like two tanks that went up and then collected in the middle right here, right? So like that was where the guardian, that was the water tanks where the guardians would collect and then spawn and then go into the uh, killing chamber in the middle and then they would perish and you would get all their drops. What I did actually is I was like, huh, you know, there's only two tanks here but there's so much space. So what I did is I actually made it four tanks and then changed the palette around and added a whole bunch of windows and made it look really cool and made like and made the floor. I was actually proud of this. I kept the floor in the general design of the guardian temple and then I just made giant rings of it. So like the outside was prismarine like the original prismarine then the inside was um dark prismarine and then it was like a circle of grass yeah i i thought it was really cool i th i do think it would be cool and try to try and design my own i mean i think as somebody who has built redstone stuff before and has built farms myself it is so cool to do it yourself and see and just like just see for yourself what you can do i think it's awesome i think it's useful that people have tutorials out there especially for the more complicated farms but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't just like give it a try and try it out now so valid, actually. Actually, the most valid. Yeah, I, I don't actually know when I started messing around with farms. It might have been around 2020 or so. Because then I got really into trying to make my own, basically, giant automatic uh, group farms. In fact, I can actually show you a farm that I designed and made myself. Uh, let's collect everything here real quick. And let's head down this tunnel. I think you're gonna like this. So you were talking earlier about, you know, making a sugarcane farm and designing that. I have actually designed my own sugarcane farm. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, I'm... This is not gonna... Oh, that's bad. Hmm. I should have seen that coming. Honestly, I, I should have. Alright. Well, let's go collect our stuff real quick. Where's the water? It, honestly, if you stick around here long enough, you will see it happen. A lot. <laughs> yeah, I really shouldn't have tried to push my way through with three and a half hearts, but... You know, if it happens, it happens. Oh, ad break. Alright. 
I will be on a mission to do that while the app plays. Thankfully, this should despawn all the magma cubes, so that's awesome. It didn't? Okay. Why, why did it not? That's annoying. Okay, yeah, that was just me. Welcome back. Welcome back from the ad break. Thank you, everybody, for sticking through that. Appreciate it. I am going to really quickly get a sword. Because I thought the magma cubes would have despawned, but it seems like they're not despawning, so... I'm gonna go get a sword so I can smack him a few times. Oh, is that not despawned? Um... Yeah, that'll do. Smite 3. I don't know if Smite will do anything, but... Hey, it's fancy and it's shiny, so I'll take it. Let's make our way through this tunnel. I still need to decorate this tunnel. Although I'll probably decorate it when we do more work in this area specifically and make that area look nice. Shiny always good. Shiny is cool. Let's beat up some magma cubes today. The magma cubes cannot be allowed to win. Yo, Diddle! How you doing? I'm about to beat up some magma cubes because they took my stuff. To be fair, I walked right into them, but, you know, it happens. as well. I mean, I did just lose my stuff right over lava, but most of it should be okay, thankfully. I just have to get back there. Oh my gosh. There is so many of you. Okay. So, assessing the damage. We have to get through the magma cubes first. Uh, that's just not fair. Give me a second. I am going to actually... I'm going to make this process a little easier on myself. I'm going to close VC face. Do not mind. Cat girl has disappeared. I shall be back in a moment. It'll make this journey a little easier on all of us. If you didn't know, VC phase uh, takes up a lot of space in rendering things, and it doesn't always like to play nice. So, I'm gonna close it for a second. Actually, what am I doing? I should just wear my uh, protection three, will be nice. Alright, cool. Wait, your birthday was today? Happy birthday! I totally missed that, I'm so sorry. Happy birthday, Noodle. Oh wait, that's right, I totally forgot. That's right, I knew that was happening. We'll consider this your celebratory uh, birthday stream. 
because I did say that that's that this stream would become your celebratory birthday stream. Noodle, thank you so much for the tier one to Frost Puffy. That's so nice of you. Thank you so much. Now you get to use all the cool emotes. Now you're a cool kid. Oh my gosh, are we just, you know what, I'm going to also boop, just give myself what I said already today. It's awesome. I'm glad. Okay, you and your army are not going to stop me. Mostly because it's just really easy to get through you. You better not. Oh my gosh. Alright, thankfully it looks like most of our stuff is just chilling here, which is good for my sanity, honestly. Um, let's see, swords here. Let's get my actual armor on. Oh, wait, bow's here too. Let's go, that was, okay, bow bow and stuff was what I was most worried about because that is sometimes really hard or that can take a lot to redo. Okay, let's go down and make sure that nothing is just chilling at the bottom because there are probably a few things that are chilling at the bottom. Oh, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away, fly away. Um, oh, I don't have any fire resistance. Yes, I do. Um, where is my... All of my shulker boxes survived. Okay, fire resistance. I will explain that in just a moment. I will have to trouble you to hold on for a moment. Okay, we... I think we have most of our stuff, but there's also some stuff sitting on the ground, so I'm gonna have to go back and get it. I will have to trouble you to hold tight for a moment. I will explain it in once I can actually get back up. Thank you. Because some stuff did fall. And don't you dare get off. Yep, my pickaxe is sitting there. Get away, it's my pickaxe. Okay, we actually got really lucky that the tunnel was so big, or the platform was so big, that it actually all of our stuff is still here. That is huge. That never happens. Okay, mouse, come on. Don't you do this. I will smack you upside the head. Okay, where's the tunnel? Tunnel's up there. It saved everything. Yes, I am so glad. I saw things fall off, but it looks like it was just my pickaxe. Which is, like, huge. Because in the nether, in lava... It is so easy for things to fall and then be lost like that. So that is a that is a huge relief off my shoulders. It wouldn't be the first time, to be fair, but I'm happy it's not today. Just this once, everybody lives. Well, that. That uh, is a huge weight off my chest. I thought I was going to lose my sword or my bow. Every time, every time this happens, I give, I get another reason that I really, really need to make another right sword. I need to stop using. You can't just say that. <laughs> I mean, you can. I can't stop you. 
Okay, yeah, all of my shulker boxes survived. My my water bucket, my food, my elytra, my fire rockets, um, all of my tools. That's huge. If I did lose anything, it's... N I mean, I wouldn't know. So, this is huge. Well, I did. <laughs> As the equivalent of no. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't say that. Why not? Why can't I say it? I'm gonna. You, uh, you gonna stop me? <laughs> but yes, so that was actually a redeem I set up. I couldn't figure out a good name for it. That was a new redeem I wanted to show off today. And it's basically, um, I talked about this last stream, but, oh yeah, speaking of, let me get, uh, let me get Cat back up. Let me get Willow back up. Um, I wanted to have a redeem that people could do to basically have an item of theirs in the world. So you know, you know my like special items chest where I have just um, random things that people have requested that I do, or do that I've just made for people. I wanted to do that, but with as a redeem, so that people could add something of theirs into the world. I'm back! <laughs> but the best name I could figure out for it right now was Request a Minecraft in Memory. I will have to work on it and give it a better name. Oh, yeah, speaking of, I will... I will do the stretch, actually, and I will hydrate. In fact, I'm going to stretch so hard, I'm going to get more water. My water bottle's empty. I'll be right back, Trent. Thank you, Frost Puppy, for the um, hydrate and the uh, stretch. Stretch was good. I'm going to go get more water, and you all get to sit here and hope I don't die. <laughs> Have fun.
Oh, thank goodness, I am still alive. <laughs> Stopping the game. Stopping the game is for losers. That's a joke. <laughs> I was just doing this because I wanted to... I wanted to do something. <laughs> because maybe, maybe I was feeling a little mischievous today. <laughs> Oh, uh, my poor heart cannot take too much more of this mischievity. Oh, man. The fear I felt, let me tell you. It was like, it was like a little subdued fear. The whole time I was downstairs, I ended up talking with my parents for a little bit. And then the moment I got up to my room, and I like went up to the door. I went, it's going to be all over the ground. It's been five minutes. Oh, no. Has it? Oh, no. <laughs> the immediate panic I felt when I saw my room just went... Oh, this is going to be so bad, isn't it? <laughs> Thankfully, nothing happened, and I'm still full hell. The sigh of relief I had, I don't know if you heard it, but I just... I, I was so happy to see I had full hearts. Oh, anyways. Let's never do that again. I probably will, but... At least I will know in my heart that I don't... I, <laughs> uh, but I'm back. How is everybody doing? Inside my bed. Not on top. Inside. Cats are fascinating creatures. If they want to be inside something, it, it's too late. The mere thought of wanting to go into something is... that That's that's enough. It's it's too late for them. They, they are already inside of it. You can't stop it anymore. The squid, the octopus, I love the octopus. I, man, that brings back memories from like 2021. I remember when that used to be used a lot, like in the early days of Connection Point. Oh my gosh, Connection Point is almost three years old. How is. How is everybody taking that? <laughs> How, how does that make you feel? I've been in this world for almost three years. Oh, that's a... that's a... That's a lot. I don't want to think about the fact that I started this world almost three years ago. I... You know, I won't change your mind because I know you won't change your mind. But I also know that it's octopi. But also, words are made up. So... Maybe, maybe it is, you know? Why not? Believe your own truth, Kate. <laughs> Go crazy. This is a huge relief off my back for all the times that I've flown into this and smacked my face against the ceiling. Now, octopi. It's octopi, like you said it, but without the E. It's just um, octo and then pi. It's like saying, it's like saying the word pi. No, not the 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 number pi. There you go. The us becomes an I. Wait, think about that. Octopus, U S us. A singular octopus is plural. But octopi, I, is singular. So mult so si so a single octopus is plural, but a pl but plural octopi is singular. I love English. English makes all the sense in the world. Why? I mean, why would you why would you ever hint at anything else? I mean, English makes perfect sense. What are you, what are you talking about? I always thought as well. Yeah, you know, you. How can you really tell? English loves to pull words right out of the wazoo. Like you just, it will just make stuff up. See, Noodle gets it. Noodle, uh, Noodle knows what's going on. Noodle's the objectively correct right now. <laughs> Oh, 
but like with English it is so hard to tell because it's not even like rules anymore. It's just a hodgepodge of people deciding what they do and do not want the words to look like and then you get English. And it is the weirdest amalgamation of a mess that you've ever seen. But it's the language I grew up with. So it's the one I got. <laughs> I guess it's not, I guess it's, I guess it's easy to learn any language if it's your mother language, but you definitely have your, you definitely had your work cut out for you learning it. I'll tell you that. How was it learning English? I guess this can go for you, Neko, as well, because I know English isn't your mother language either. How was it learning English? How much fun did you have trying to figure out the stupid and ridiculous rules that English likes to make up? Because I can tell you, they aren't rules, they are suggestions. It's like the law, right? The law is made up of a bunch of rules, but basically it's like a bunch of scenarios. It's writing out a document that basically gives you some vague things to follow, and then a whole bunch of, um... And then a whole bunch of, like, here's how you do things in different scenarios. That's what English is. <laughs> So I learned English from gaming in school, trying to learn Swiss German is pain. Oh, interesting. Use it, it's correct. That's what linguistics. That is... That is accurate. Language is whatever you want it to be. And... And that does not make it any less confusing, but it also makes it... Oh, like, beautiful, in a way. You know, it gives you it gives you the ability to short shorten words like charisma into riz, or take like whatever pog is supposed to stand for, or make okay the shortened version of okay, or whatever law is. You know, laughing out loud, but make the abbreviation its own word, even though it technically stands for something else. It technically it actually has a meaning, but lol by itself became its own word. Language is fascinating. Language really is fascinating. And Dihono's here. How you doing, Dihono? We have been on a journey today. We've I've been fixing up the Nether Hub tunnels, and then we've sudden we somehow found ourselves escaping death, escaping, or our items escaping death, and then we've ended up on linguistics. And we've also talked about, like, Minecraft, which I know, shocker. <laughs> we have been on a journey today, and it has been a very interesting journey. I'm doing well, how are you? There we go. Is this my random box of everything else? It is my random box of everything else. Alright, into the random box of everything else you go. Alright, get out my last two of these. Switch out this. Drink this. Sweet.
I am a little curious for the both of you. What? <laughs> what is the discussion? I am a little fascinated. Oh, maybe not that fascinated. Okay, <laughs> maybe maybe a little less fascinated than I was two seconds ago. Ooh, okay. Did not die. Huge win. What about both of us not being in Germany right now? I did I was I was wondering why you were saying the word Germany a lot. Uh, where's my basalt box? There there you are. I, that's going to be one of my, I guess, later goals in life. Is I want to, I definitely want to learn more languages than just English. I mean, English is cool. You know, a lot of people use it. It's weirdly, oddly, thus becoming a the standard language. But you know, I think it would be really cool to know another language or two. Which ones? I don't actually know yet, but I think it'd be cool. It would be nice to be able to communicate with people in more than just one language. And I think, yeah, this tunnel is already 5x5, five five, so our work is finished. Here. Best way to learn English. That does make sense. I mean, learning how to speak the language is important, but at least from what I think, I, I feel like it would make it easier if or it would be easier to learn how it how you actually speak it and use it in daily language from people who actually speak it and use it in daily language. Five times a lot of space. You're right. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you guys can be difficult like that. I'm going to fly back. Uh, I think that actually means this is done. Or at least all of our digging is done. So the tunnel to the nether portals... Or to the nether fortress and all of its portals are done. The tunnel to the trading hall and the um, base is done. The tunnel to the sand portal and the end portal is done. It's actually really nice to fly through here now. Wow. And the tunnel to the Mesa portal has been rebuilt, but now in a straight line. It was definitely Swiss German and learning languages is so much fun. So when you say Swiss German, did you, do you mean like the language are the same? Or you learned, like, a combination language of the two. Oh, wait, that's right, I wanted to show you something. Here, wait, I gotta fly back. Probably Spanish. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think the easiest language to learn for you was? I wonder why. Oh yeah, you probably know all about that, don't you, Neko? We're all just like, yeah, languages are hard. It's basically German with a lot of different words from the French and also a different way to talk. Interesting. So I guess you could either consider it a like subset of German or like its own just like distinct thing, which is cool. English was the easiest. It's like every that is fair, right? If you if you are looking for people to learn English off of. It's like everywhere. Even if English isn't your first language, I feel like a lot of people know it as their second or third language. And, you know, that is probably due to the fact that a lot of people use it as... Well, I mean, fair. I was not trying to say that. <laughs> I, from what I knew, thought Swiss was its own language. If that is just... If Swiss German is Swiss, then fair enough. <laughs> He's weird. Oh, wait, there's my flint and seal. I should take that. Honestly, no. <laughs> it is my first time hearing the word Swiss German, so... Good to know, good to know. Useful information. But, uh, Frostbuff, you remember how he is Swiss, but they actually have three main languages. Oh, okay. So Swiss is just, like... Okay, that makes more sense. So Swiss is just... Okay, so if I, if I got this right... Swiss is just what you would call people who live in Switzerland. It is not the language. Where, like, there is... German, but there are also people who live in Germany, which would be called Germans. There are people who live in Switzerland, and they would be Swiss, but the language itself is not Swiss, it's Swiss German. Or French or Italian. Mostly, but still quite different. Yeah, it seems like it is its own thing that is kind of evolved from German. But, uh, Frost Puppy, remember... Correct. Okay, sweet. That makes a lot of sense. That mean That makes a lot more sense. Alright, cool. I will... That is cool information. I did not know that. Thank you. I'm learning a little bit more about languages. That's awesome. But, uh, Frost Puppy, remember how you were saying... Or, what were you saying? That's right. We were talking about farms earlier. And, um, and I mentioned that I've built my own farms before. Well, actually, I've built it in this world, too. It's not the original one. I, I made the design on the outside, uh, different for this world to kind of match my own. Let me sleep real quick. Where's a bed? Do I have a bed down here? Let me sleep real quick. <gasps> Choo -choo. My cat is here, everybody. If you would like to say hi to Jewel, she is here. And the idea... Oh, because there was a blank wall there, and I didn't know what to put there. Wait. What are you doing? I kind of just... When I moved out... Why I thought so. Oh, that's fine. Okay. 
<laughs> magma cube. What was it? Slain by magma cube. Doomed to fall by magma cube. Slain by. I was just having. A, I was having a great time earlier. But I talked about how I have designed my own farms before, and I thought you might be interested in learning that this. <laughs> This is said farm. This is a... Oh, that's a creeper. That's a creeper. One second. I'll have to explain it while shooting a creeper. This is a farm I designed back in 2020 because I wanted to make a giant cylinder of automatic farms. Lag is real, and we live it. I am laggy, but I am free. So yes, this is a farm. Is that a spider with strength? That is totally a spider with strength. Mine now. But yeah, basically back in 2020, I wanted to design my own automatic farms. And I mean, I, I, I didn't design the cactus to be fair. The cactus is something I got from somebody else, but cactus is simple enough that it's like... It's really easy once you get it figured out. It's just string, sand, and cactus, and then you just stack it on top of each other. And this... This is what I designed. So each quarter is a farm that I designed and then basically like stacked it on top of each other. So like, this is... I believe this is pumpkin. I believe this is pumpkin, or that's melon. And then if we go up here, this is sugarcane, and then this is uh, probably pumpkin. I think this is pumpkin. So yeah, uh, it's once you once you figure out how redstone works, it's fairly easy. like once you get the basic of like how a piston works and how observers work. It's pretty fun to design it your own. I basically stacked it up uh, 16 times, and it's a 64 block tall structure. The only reason it's not taller is because it's actually partially in the ground. So, you know, I I do dabble in redstone on the occasion. And yes, this red, this uh, iron farm, duh. I'm so glad you mentioned something, Neko. Man, I'm gonna have to get. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to. How did that even happen? Well, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to get new village. No wonder I haven't been getting iron. Oh, and if you're curious, all the iron is collected here, and then it actually goes into the ground. Into this dropper, and then it drops it out. It's, it's pretty fancy. The one I had. Ah, oh, man, I'm gonna have to get villagers back in them. Which I mean, not super hard. Uh, yes, I know how to- I know how an iron farm works, Nego. <laughs> Thankfully, I, I do have minecarts in here, so I can actually- Do we want to do that? Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, wait, you're right. That's what you're saying. Sorry, I thought you were talking about how, like, that was my bad. I apologize. I thought you were talking about how zombies get infected. No, oh, wait. So that farm doesn't work anymore. Do I have to build a new iron farm? I think I do. Oh wait, so this only just happened then. Oh no, in 122. Man, I've been over here a few times to like collect emeralds. It probably happened then. Well hey, just like I was just saying to Frost Puppy, this gives me a chance to actually build my own iron farm design. 
And I mean, I already have the zombie there, so thankfully I have the the hardest part down with a helmet with, for that. Now, I just need to figure out my own. Alright. Looks like next stream we are redesigning an iron farm. Or making my own. Because I mean, I know the basics. It's pretty easy. You give, you put a zombie next to villagers, it scares them. Iron farm. A uh, iron golem spawn, you burn the iron golem. It's, it's pretty simple. The mechanics are fairly simple for the iron farm, but yeah. I forgot how the defaults. My card looks like. Oh, does yours look different? Yeah, actually, to be fair, I need to. I, I do have it in my goals this year to redo the the entire village up here and make it better. So yeah, I guess that can be step one of it is to redo the iron farm. Yeah, that's really that makes sense why I haven't been getting it the last few days that I was on. Man. I'm so glad you pointed that out. I never would have noticed. New iron farm. Yeah. We kinda need one. What are you doing? Mr. Original Mending? What, what, are you just, you just chilling here? You wanna see the sun? Too bad. I really should make this like... A better door, probably. Yeah. Oh, and everybody, uh, if you don't know, I have a cat, and her name is Jewel. I actually have multiple cats, and they're all in my room right now. Finn and Kevin are both in here, but if you don't know, Jewel is my baby, and she she likes to come up on my desk and actually lay down on my arms when I'm playing on my com or when I'm using my computer, and she's up right now. And she's got her foot on the keyboard, and she's upside down. And she is very happy because I am, um, I am petting her stomach, and she's very happy. Jewel may go past Fletcher. She is not named Jewel. As much as you may want her to be, she is not. Speaking of, is that my horse? Have I just not brought my horse back? My cat just left the room as well. I mean, let's be honest. Have we ever seen your cat and my cat in the same room at the same time? Now we have it. All I'm saying is... No, I'm not saying that our cats are the same and then share it and then uh, go back and forth very fast. I'm just not denying it. Okay. <laughs> but yes, this 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 wall is only here because it felt really empty when I took out all the chests and stuff. So I put iron, I put anvils and stuff here. Are all of you just chilling up here? I really should bring my horse back. gosh horse through portal and it didn't die this is like actually the best news ever oh my stick okay right now um you know i have an idea he may be they may be right next do we all have, yeah maybe we're all just sharing the same cat Maybe it's a grand cat conspiracy. We all just share the same cat. Hmm. 
No, 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 no. In the portal, in the portal, in the portal, okay. You have 13 hearts, thank goodness, because you're going to need them. Why are there so many of you? I need to light up this portal so bad. There we go. The Grand Cat Conspiracy. We all share one cat. We never see them in the same place, do we? Oh, okay. I got really scared that my horse didn't come through. But then it just came through after me. I love that. It went in before me, but came out after me. Thought I had Frostwalker on for a second. That clay looks like ice. I may be losing it. You know, I feel like it, uh, for as weird as it would be for me, I feel like I should try one day. Maybe over the summer or something. In the, the summer months to try and do like a, a six hour stream. Because I don't do those. The most I've ever done is like four and a half. But it still would be... Twenty-four. I think I would actually lose my mind. Elfin gold. I forgot I named my horse. I don't actually know if I could survive a 24 hour stream. Like I said, the most I've ever, I mean, if we want to go technicality, I streamed for five hours on my debut and that was the most I've ever done. And I feel like I could do more if like I planned out a whole, like, multiple hours worth of things to do and actually accomplish and had a bunch of people in chat that I could like chat with but it would be it would definitely be difficult to be was fun honestly I'm I'm really happy with how the debut went yeah after the 45 minutes of tech issues yeah that was interesting it was pain holy cow mad huge respect to you Oh, yeah, let me bring my armor back. Yeah, it was awesome. Just watching as everything I was doing was not working, and my computer was like, mm, I don't think I will. It was very funny and not at all distressing. But hey, we got it to work in the end, and that was nice. And honestly, we've had less and less tech issues since then. Like, it's very rare now that streams will disconnect, I say, after the Gartic phone got split in half, but it's very rare that streams have, like, um, the streams have disconnected, at least frequently, and even though the world is laggy, it is actually running, which I think is cool. I am very happy, and I am now going to brew up these potions as we... Uh, kind of kind of wind down for that. Yeah, we are we are at two hours. Can you believe that? All right, let's put those in. All right. Well, it's been two hours, so like our time has come once again, and. Before we go, let me actually put this potion away. We're gonna brew up these potions. Uh, quick thing, it's not out yet because I'm only mostly done with the editing, but I'm almost done with it. There will be a stray episode out tonight, so look forward to that. It'll be out in probably a few hours. It shouldn't take me too long to get it done. And with that, 
uh, I will send out some things. So if you are curious about stuff that I do on other platforms, boom. There's my YouTube. There's where I put a lot of stuff for like edited content and stuff. I'm pretty proud of the stuff that I make on there. And hopefully there will be one out today. If it doesn't come, end up coming out today, it'll probably be out tomorrow. So huge win for that. And for anybody new here, on the streams today, we do have a Discord. And that is the best place to learn about all the stuff that I'm doing and get notifications for like streams and shorts and videos and just all kinds of stuff. It's a great place to be. And yeah. And with that, I think it is time to head over to stream ending and find somebody to read into. Uh, I saw a few people pop up while I was, um, what is it called? While I was streaming. So there should be, holy cow, there's a bunch of people streaming. Um... We haven't raided into Tiffany in a long time, actually. Or Lala. Honestly, I, I haven't raided into Tiffany since, like, last year. I think I will. You know what? It ha it ha it's been a while. I think we should raid into her today. Let's see, your name is Tiffany Witcher. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, thank you all so much for being here. Uh, Tiffany is a great streamer. I've only watched them a few times, but they are very, very cool. And I have always enjoyed my time over there, so I hope you do too. Uh, it was a great stream. Next stream, I am not sure what we're going to do, but we'll either start laying out the floor with the soul sand and the ice, or soul soil and the ice, or we will do something else. Jewel, stop laying on the... Oh no, Jewel. Don't set that. Okay. Now we have pluses. Don't mind that. Jewel's on the keyboard. But thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the wade. Um, it has been a pleasure having you all here. I've been Smell Watch and I will see you.